with this online video and This is an exceptionally well-built 300-watt daylight balanced beast of a light. It's constructed entirely of metal with the exception of the knobs and the back where the display and controls are located. The light is a little chunky, some of which is due to the power supply and its placement, and it has a bit of heft too at about 8 pounds. So super cheap light stands are probably a no-go with this thing. Compared to some lights that are on the market, this one is a relatively simple light in that it does not connect to any apps, it doesn't have any effects, and it isn't bicolor or RGB. However, it does come with a remote that runs on two AAA batteries that will allow you to control the light wirelessly, which I sometimes prefer over an app. You can also use the remote to control multiple lights, all together, in groups, or up to 12 individually. If you lose the remote though, you can still control multiple lights by setting them to slave and using one light as the master controller. When adjusting the brightness on the back of the light, it moves in 1% increments, from 0% to 100%, and is pretty linear, which I really appreciate because it eliminates the search for a sweet spot in terms of output. Speaking of output, this truly is a 300 watt unit, and the amount of light it puts out leaves no question to that. This light is seriously bright. Like pretty much all lights these days, it does have a fan and it is constantly on. The good news here is that for its power and size, I think the volume of the fan is acceptable, and the RPM of the fan never seems to change. So if you're using a microphone in the room that does pick up the fan, the sound is consistent and easier to edit around. This fan also does a great job at dispersing the heat. I left the light on for over an hour at full power and was still able to comfortably touch the entire body of the unit. The light is also Bowens mount capable and comes with a Bowens chimney, which secures well. The included power supply is robust though, comes in at about 16 feet and is pretty universal style here in the US. So replacing it is easy if you ever need to. You'll also get a decently padded carrying bag to keep everything together and safe while in storage or transport. Truth be told, my complaints with this light are pretty minimal and really boil down to potential improvements. When it's all said and done though, I do think that this is a great product. It's a no frills, strong and reliable tool and whether you're filming personal projects or paying jobs, in my opinion, this light is most likely sturdy enough and bright enough to do whatever it is you need it to do. This light is very, very bright. It'll light up pretty much the whole side of the house. So today we got this light by GVM. I've had it for a couple days and I've been waiting to do this review. That is really cool. It is a padded case. Oh, look at that. It's a hell of a big LED right there. I don't know if I should be touching it. There's some plastic here and here, but everything else is metal. This is a metal handle here, the mount. I dig it, it's a nice solid construction. I can't wait to test it out. This button here is your brightness and intensity knob. This is the LCD screen. This is the mode button. It's mode, rotate, master, slave, and DMX. I don't know what any of that means yet. These buttons right here, are to uh, pick out the channel. So if you have a whole system of these, uh, if you have a bunch of these lights set up, you can. This is your on-off switch for your power pack. It uh, it's cool because it comes, it's attached, so you don't have to worry about attaching it to a pole. So the remote takes two AAA batteries. They are not included. Power is 300 watts. Voltage is DC 60 volts. Power cord kind of long. 
they give you these wires. It's two wires. This is the reflector. So the reflector is textured and they give you more surface area for the light to bounce around and, and focus more. It's a nice reflector. Uh, the light itself has a Bowens mount, meaning that it has an attachment mount where you can use different light modifiers. There are a lot of modifiers you can use with a Bowens mount. They have uh, different grid systems that you can put over the front, put some different uh, reflectors on it. There is also a Fresnel attachment, which is a lens where you can focus it more in case you need like a spotlight or something like that. Dome, snoot, barn doors that you can get where you can slide in different gels, soft box, maybe an octa box. All the knobs are pretty good on it. The arms and everything and the knobs are all pretty tight and, and strong. The light comes with a remote and you can control up to 12 lights on it. You can change some of the channels and everything and I think you can have like, let's say three lights on the same channel or two lights on another one, but I thought, I thought that was a pretty good feature. So this light has a CRI rating of 97. That's the color rendering index meaning that that's the accuracy of the color in the light. It's a pretty good light, it's a white light. Like it's, it doesn't have any noticeable shifting that I can tell, it's like, it's not blue, it's not magenta, it's not green, it's pretty solid. The color temperature on this light is 5600. So the light does give off some noise, it has a fan, but it's really imperceptible. Things I like about the light are that it is very powerful and that it has the Bowens mount and it's relatively quiet. As long as you place your mic a good distance away from the light, you're not going to hear the fans. It's a, it's a good light. Like if you were looking for something powerful to light up a room, this light can do. This GVM light is perfect. It's like the sun. Like I own a sun the square panels you're just limited in just uh keeping the bar doors which they don't do much unless you put a diffuser in front of the light and maybe attaching a third party little soft box here which they don't provide a lot of diffusion either it comes with the uh, remote control instead and just so you know to control this light remotely all you have to do is to take this remote out of your pocket and you gotta make sure this is on slave mode this light also comes with a nice thick gauge ac power cord and it's a uh, fairly long and it also comes with this reflect with those little square things that helps to, to uh, project a, a stronger light output it's nothing as scientific as some other high-end lights offer but it does the job it's better than the old style that didn't have these little squares here so you know can't complain about that either and it also comes with those little steel safety cables in case you want to hang this light upside down on a theater or whatever so if the light happens to fall the thing is going to catch right there but speaking of expensive the design of this light here it actually looks expensive when you bring this thing to a corporate video your client is looking at you like setting up this light yeah if you don't touch it it will stay but as soon as you try to, to do this it might sag a little bit so as long as you don't touch it you should stay like that as you can see so these knobs here they don't have any sort of teeth here all i see is metal with metal but there's like a rubber washer so they hold as much as they can but it's not super tight